Welcome to the course of Insomniac, the ultimate sleep therapy. Proven steps and strategies on how to handle all the areas of insomnia, from the causes to the steps on how to cure it. All the information in this course will help you to overcome the process of insomnia. All of the nights staying awake and all of the days constantly feeling exhausted will fade away. You will not only learn about where insomnia comes from, but you will also know how to cure any part of it. Thanks again, and I hope that you'll enjoy this course and benefit immensely from it. The basic idea of insomnia is that people will be staying awake at night without any reason. People think that it's caused by stress or simply not being able to get to sleep. Sometimes they will not be able to rest because of eating at different points of the day. No matter what the reason is, the fact is that there are times when people are not able to get back to sleep. Insomnia, by definition, is the difficulty of falling asleep, or it could be the difficulty of staying asleep. Both of these definitions have to do with the fact that the person is having trouble getting to sleep since they are facing another kind of troubling situation mentally. A person will know that they have insomnia when they are not satisfied with the amount of sleep that they have been getting. They will naturally feel as if they have a low level of energy throughout the day, fatigue at different moments of the day, a large difficulty in concentrating on tasks, a large amount of mood disturbances, and lastly, there might be a drop in performance level in the workplace. Any of these symptoms are possible to have when it comes to staying awake all throughout the night. It is simply because the mind and body both need to have rest. If one or both of them do not get rest, then the person will feel lower than usual. They will feel exhausted and they will feel the annoyance of wanting to sleep without actually being able to sleep. When it comes to seeing if you have insomnia or not, it's best to see that there are two different types of insomnia. If you have a couple of nights where you cannot get to sleep, but then you begin to sleep right after on the following night, you might not think that you have insomnia when you might actually have acute insomnia. This kind of insomnia comes from the basic levels of stress that the person is facing. They will face a short period of time where they're not able to fall asleep because of the life circumstances happening around them. Commonly, this will happen when a person receives bad news from their boss or they might have gotten a bad grade on a test. Both of these situations can cause the person to have a night or two where they simply cannot get any kind of sleep. This kind of insomnia lasts for such a short period of time, there is normally no reason to look for any kind of treatment for it. Instead, it normally will be resolved on its own. The second kind of insomnia is called chronic insomnia. This is where the person will not be able to sleep for a few nights every week for a few months. The person might have this happen to them when they are facing a major change in their environment since they may have just moved houses or might be having trouble adapting to a new season of harsher weather. Other reasons why a person might have this kind of insomnia is because they have an unhealthy level of sleep habits where they sleep whenever they want to. If a person wakes up whenever they want to, or if they stay up as late as they want, then the mind will be used to staying awake when it wants to without having a specific schedule. The body will not be able to function with a small amount of sleep one night and then more sleep later on during the day. While this might seem possible at first for a short amount of time, this is not possible to have happen for a longer period of time. Eventually, the mind and body will force the person to fall asleep and stay asleep until fully rested. It will force the person to have a normal sleep schedule since it will begin to affect their own normal life schedule. Otherwise, it will need to be treated by a doctor or a medical physician who can diagnose you for chronic insomnia. Normally, it will be linked to another medical or psychiatric issue, meaning that the reason you might be having chronic insomnia will be because of stress of something else on your mind. Even if the situation is not normally stressful to you, or even if you do not feel the stress, your body will feel the stress causing the chronic insomnia. In these two cases of insomnia, they still have the same causes. Both of them can be caused the same way, even though they are healed in different ways. 
For insomnia, it is a treatable issue that is usually linked to a kind of medical condition. Some of these medical conditions can be very serious and others will be mild, making it so that most people can have insomnia at some point in their life. Otherwise, the insomnia will come from other common symptoms that people are able to have at any point. These symptoms include nasal allergies, sinus allergies, lower back pain, overall chronic pain, gastrointestinal problems, arthritis, asthma, and other neurological problems. Most of these can occur at any point during a person's lifetime. These can cause stress to the body and cause the mind to stay awake for a longer period of time. While some people have a cold, they will realize that they are staying awake for a majority of the night or they might see that they are waking up constantly in the middle of the night. Both of these factors cause the person to have a major lack of sleep and rest. They might try to sleep while having a cold, but the insomnia is still able to come. The other pains in the body that cause insomnia are simply from the fact that the body cannot get into a comfortable position to get rest. Do you ever have it where you get into bed and then you're not able to get into a comfortable position? This is the same situation that will happen constantly inside of the body if it's in any kind of pain. In order to have more time healing, the body will stay awake until it's in a position of more rest. Otherwise, it will become a constant battle where the person will need to find a new way to sit or they'll need to find a new medicine to stop the pain from truly occurring. With all of these different causes in mind, it's just as important to learn and determine the exact factors that hinder your sleep. If you find that some of these risks apply to you, then you simply have a higher chance of having insomnia at some point in your life. So what's the next step? Simple. Take preventive countermeasurements. At the same time, look after your own health to make sure that you can always have a restful sleep. The risk factors involved with insomnia include being a female, being pregnant, or in the period of menopause an older adult above the age of 40, suffering from more stress, suffering from depression, having a night job, travel long distances where there is a time change, or have a family history of insomnia. All of these factors lead a person closer to insomnia since the situations listed involve a person's choices. They can choose to take a longer vacation in which they are moving through different time zones. They can choose to go through the hard times of having a job at night where they will need to adapt to a completely different lifestyle. Otherwise, they will have a job during the nighttime shift because they were moved into that position or they had no other choice available to them at that moment. It's hard to deal with the risk factors of insomnia when a person thinks about all the natural effects that can happen. Sometimes life will get in the way where they have relationship problems, family problems, or job problems. Not only that, but they might be suffering for financial or personal problems where they are having trouble balancing out work in their life. Things naturally become difficult, and sometimes it causes a person to go through a time of insomnia where the mind and body will stay awake until more of the stress or depression is gone. In some cases, it takes longer. In other cases, people are able to find a solution very quickly. Either way, it is difficult to stop the factors of insomnia from coming. Since insomnia has many different causes and risk factors, there are many different things that you are able to do to prepare yourself from having more sleepless and restless nights. It is easy to see what the causes are, but other times it's harder to go forward and stop the normal stress factors of life from happening. Life gets hard, and sometimes even harder to the point where the person will not know which side is up. The most important part to remember when beginning any preparations or healing for insomnia is not to be afraid. Do not be scared of any outcomes or results that might happen. The more fear you have, the more stress that comes along with it to make the case of your own insomnia worse. It is important to stay calm and work through the treatment to prevent yourself and heal yourself from the insomnia. When it comes to the function of the mind, it's an interesting scientific standpoint that scientists continue to do research in. They continue to look towards the functions of all the brainwaves and how all the thoughts interact during the day and night. 
During every hour of the day, the mind is able to adapt itself to any situation. Whether the mind is trying to get food, get a drink, get out of the car, walking through a door, or just get some rest, the mind constantly will try to find new ways to survive and flourish. It will continue through the cycle of getting enough resources during the day and then have enough energy to heal and rest during the night. Normally, people will have a normal level of brainwaves where the mind will stop thinking as quickly and will prepare for the night by shutting down parts of the mind's thought process. The farther into the night time goes, the more the mind is slowing down and becoming capable of getting another night of full rest. This is the reason why a person will find it harder to get through their job or any kind of work later on in the night. Studies show that the process of the mind will naturally change throughout the day, and sometimes it will cause a major form of anxiety inside the mind. This is where the mind will become stressed enough to the point where the brain waves will not slow down, and therefore, the mind will not be able to completely relax later on in the night. Instead, it will go through a period where the brain waves will move faster to cause more thoughts and more energy needed to be consumed. The same amount of resources that are collected during the day will need to be taken in at night. The body will then run through twice the amount of energy and resources and cause the person to have a lack of energy within their own life. As for the mind and how the brain waves respond to the phases of insomnia, there have been three different studies done to see how the mind will react during the night. Scientists have known that the learning and memory functions of the brain have a majority of control with causing a person to go to sleep. The more a person learns during the day, the more energy they are utilizing that day and the more energy they are gaining overall. The more a person forms memories inside of their own life, the more the mind will have dreams during the night. The ability to have a larger variety of dreams during the night allows for the mind to calm down and use the images to enforce more of a positive image inside of the person. The mind wants the body to be calm during the night, and the best way to do that is by looking through the happy memories that the person has gone through. Whenever you see a loved one inside of your dream, you smile, you are happier, and your body relaxes more. For a person with insomnia, the mind during the night runs faster and has more trouble getting to the same kind of calm and relaxing state. The mind will be just as active during the day as it is at night. In one of the studies about brainwaves during insomnia, scientists were able to see that the neurons inside of the mind are more active at night inside of the mind of a person who has chronic insomnia. The neurons travel around the mind faster and cause more thoughts to pass through the mind at night. Therefore, the person goes through a period where they are in a constant state of information processing that does not stop at any point during the whole day. This causes the insomnia, since the person will not be able to have enough sleep or rest to remain stable. Inside of the study, the researchers were telling others that insomnia should not be seen directly as a nighttime disorder. Instead, it's more of a 24-hour brain condition that causes the mind to stay on. This small amount of time where the mind does not have enough rest during one night interferes with the memory inside of the brain. It does not affect the memory of the person in the long run. Instead, it makes the next day after one night of no sleep much harder. The person will have a harder time concentrating, remembering small facts, and remembering information that is told directly to them the same day. To test out this theory, they compared the test scores of students that had a full night of sleep versus students that did not have any sleep the night before. The students who had more sleep were able to focus on more parts of the question at once, and they were able to remember more of their choices on the test a few hours after it was over. The idea of this experiment was to measure out the amount of the mind that requires rest in order to remain focused throughout the day. When a person has insomnia, they are not able to go through and have the same level of concentration. Some people believe that since their mind will be functioning just as quickly at night when they have insomnia, they believe they can have more focus the next day. The experiment done during this research disproves this thought. Just because the mind is as active at night as it is during the day when it has insomnia does not mean that that is a good idea to rely upon. 
Not only does it build up the lack of concentration in the mind, but it will also build up the amount of plasticity inside of the brain. The research on what the plasticity is and how it contributes to the state of insomnia is still unknown. They do know that the plasticity of the mind does build up throughout a person's life, and it does contribute to other forms of disease later on in a person's life. The more plasticity that exists inside of the mind, the less chance a person has to remember memories overall. Not only in a short-term basis, but in a long-term basis as well. It's harder for the mind to hold on to all the levels of concentration and memory when a person has reached an elderly age. A mind during that age will naturally slow down and it will slow down at a faster rate if there's more plasticity inside of the brain. The second area of research in insomnia surrounded the idea of a person constantly having stress or constantly worrying. They were investigating how if a person has a stressful life and then gets insomnia, how the mind will respond at night. The first fact that they were able to see immediately was that the cognitive function of the mind does not change whether a person is suffering from insomnia or if they are sleeping all right. However, they were able to support the idea that the mind with insomnia does not have the same amount of functions throughout the day. The main parts of their research were able to show that the mind wanders throughout the night. People who have insomnia will be thinking at night, but that does not mean that they will be thinking about a specific subject. The mind not only has trouble concentrating the next day, but the mind will have trouble concentrating on the different areas of work happening during the nights where the person does not have enough sleep. Not only that, but the mind will continue to use energy during the day that it should be resting. Not having the energy to function during the day makes it harder for them to perform at a higher level. The next part of the same research compared the memory function to the tasks of efficiency that the person will naturally go through in any part of the day. When a person goes through the troubling states of insomnia, they will not be able to remember a larger portion of memories during the day. Since the memories could not be immediately remembered, the tasks during their lives were harder. The minds would wander around whenever they had to do simple tasks of the day. The mind's brain waves will be slower and will cause the person to move at a slower pace and quickly forget the information in front of them. The brain will attempt to be active, but there will not be enough resources for the brain to go through. Therefore, the mind will exhaust itself every day during the stages of insomnia. The third and last scientific study that occurred to study insomnia was the idea of gray matter inside the brain. The main thing to know is that gray matter exists in the frontal lobe and controls the processes of memory and executive function. When a person does not have enough sleep at night, they will have a large decrease in the amount of gray matter. Whether the person is suffering from insomnia or if they are having trouble sleeping overall, they will start to slowly develop symptoms of depression or trauma. The person with insomnia will not only have to deal with the exhaustion of not having enough energy, but they will go through the harsh areas of stress in the mind. The best way to resolve this issue is to consult a doctor and see what kind of medicine would be best for your own personal case. Overall, the mind has to gain enough sleep and rest to have a proper amount of concentration. Going through insomnia will simply elongate the amount of time that the body does not get rest. It will cause the brain waves to keep moving faster throughout the brain, and it will cause the mind to slowly lose the purpose of memory. The important thing to remember is to get enough nutrition and to get enough sleep every night. No matter how difficult it is to find a balance, it is important to have a high level of concentration every day to have the most amount of memory function. Sleep starved, the devil. The mind and body both need to have rest in order to function and to have a full amount of concentration the next day. If there's no rest, then the gray matter, memory, and elaborate functions of the mind will result in the person not being able to get through the day. The first thing to do right now is think about all the things you do the moment you wake up in the morning. Think about the first five things that you do. You might turn off the alarm clock, check the phone, stand up, turn on the light, and walk to the bathroom. No matter what your normal routine is, all of these things do not require very much thought. 
All of these things in the morning are easy to do since they occur every day. When you are facing the troubles of insomnia, you are not nearly as focused as you normally are. The mind is continuing to think as fast as it normally would, but it does not have all of the resources to have enough energy to properly function. This means that your first five things you do in the morning may not all be remembered, or they might take longer to complete. It might take you only two minutes to do all of your first five actions in the morning, when it might take ten minutes to complete your first five morning actions when having insomnia. You might also forget to do a task or two. You might forget to turn off the alarm, and you might forget to check your phone for any updates. Many different things can happen, but overall this is only the start for what happens when you are struggling with insomnia. After the first night facing insomnia, you might notice a major difference in the amount of energy you have. You might notice how difficult it is to think about the next thing to do during the day, or you might find it more difficult to remember all the information during the day. Other people around you will not realize all of these things happening to you. Normally, your day might be to wake up, get ready for work, and then go shopping afterwards. At work, you have to be able to function at a very high level of efficiency. No matter how exhausted you might feel, there are only a certain amount of days that you will be given sympathy. There are only a certain amount of sick days that you're allowed to take off. Insomnia cannot take over your life, but it can cause a major portion of it to stop. In your own job, you're expected to go forwards and complete a certain amount of work. Whether you are in charge of packing boxes, doing research, or writing a paper, you have to be at the top almost every day. You have to perform close to your own highest level in order to truly earn the paycheck at the end of the week. Any small amount of rest that is taken away during the night can cause a problem. But it may not be enough to completely take you away from the focus of the job. For example, instead of getting eight hours of sleep, you only get six hours of sleep. Those two hours of sleep are very important, but they will not do as much damage to your life as insomnia. Losing two hours of sleep might make you move slower, but you're still able to focus and get all the tasks of the day done to your own fullest potential. Losing an entire night of sleep basically causes a person to stop thinking. They will go through the day struggling with the focus on any task. They will go through and have trouble reading a question while thinking about an answer. The mind will be concentrated on reading each word rather than putting the information together to figure out how to answer the question. Insomnia can affect your work performance. All you are thinking about is to get the task done. You are thinking about the fastest way to get through the day rather than thinking about the best way to get through the day. At first, this seems all right to do because you're still completing all the work and getting the job done. The real problem occurs with your own reputation in the job. Your boss will see that you're working at a slower rate, that you're not focusing as much, and that you're not having the right attitude to get through the job. This can really put you in the wrong spot where your boss might stop you from working that day and might even fire you from the job. Now, while this might not happen, it still has a possibility of happening. Insomnia is a distressing factor to life that not only can cause someone trouble in the workplace, but in their own life at home. When you think about your home, think about all the important parts of your own home. You might think about your wife, husband, children, pets, or all these aspects. Some people might also think about their garden or their own remodeling project that they've been working on. There's no right or wrong answer as to what's important inside of your own home. It's your own life, and it's a very important factor to keep balanced. Many things that happen every day, you probably do not even really think about. The simple things such as getting everyone ready for the day, getting into the car, going somewhere to eat, or making sure that everyone has what they need are all things that continuously happen. They become easier as time passes since everyone works together in a balance to ensure that everyone is ready for their own day. Normally, this is easy to do, but having insomnia makes it much more difficult. The moment a person's family life or their home life starts to get off balance, it becomes very stressful, and they begin to question if there is any way to get back to a steady state. 
It doesn't matter if the stress is coming from not having the groceries in time or waking up late. A small amount of stress can build to become something that is incredibly difficult to control. Insomnia causes a large amount of exhaustion where the person will not know exactly what should be done. They'll be running through the house not knowing what needs to happen since their own mind will be wandering around. There won't be any specific thoughts that appear in their mind. The same idea happened in the job where the time of not being focused can add up to a bad situation. If you are suffering from insomnia and need to make sure that your kids go to school, you might forget that they need to have their lunches packed. They need you to get enough rest to ensure that they have the proper support in order to get through their own day. If not, it becomes harder for them as a child, and then it becomes harder for you as a parent since you want to be the best for your own child. The moment you are suffering from insomnia, you will not be able to remember things very well, and you will have a harder time getting through the routine of your own house. If you miss a day of not cleaning the house, it's not the end of the world. If you start to make a habit of it and you forget to clean up around the house, then it will be harder to maintain your own home. A smell might start to develop and all the plants might be overgrown. All around your house, nothing will be kept at a clean level since the insomnia stops you from having the right amount of energy to go through any of these tasks. The last part of your home life is your relationship. Whether it's your partner, husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend, being in a relationship is a job on its own. The moment your own significant other starts to seem different, where they are more tired or they're not focusing on you as much, things might get strange. Strange in the way where one person might start to feel lonelier, or they might start to feel as if things are getting complicated. All of these emotions can go very deep to the point where a large talk might need to happen. It's difficult when dealing with insomnia, where you do have to figure out how to live life with no actual energy inside of you. You'll feel tired all of the time where you start to care less about things, and you will start to think about what should and should not be done in your own life. Think about how hard life is on its own. Imagine then adding in the fact that you are not getting any kind of rest, which is making you stop focusing and then is forcing you to stop concentrating on the important parts of your life. You might stop doing your job while at work. You might start forgetting about your children and what they need for school. You might start forgetting about all the little things you do for your own romantic partner. Many different things can happen when you are suffering from insomnia. Since there are many different outcomes, it's important to protect yourself from it and stop yourself from getting close to it. The Cure Natural and Artificial Remedy There are two basic categories when it comes to insomnia remedies. The first is the artificial remedy. This type of remedy or medicine can be found in the pharmacy and clinic. Artificial remedy usually carries a high cost, but it typically delivers fast results. Most medicines today are toxic, filled with harmful chemicals that are not safe to be consumed for a prolonged period of time. The other kind of remedy is called natural remedy. People have practiced natural medicines for centuries. This type of remedy utilizes the body's natural healing process to cure insomnia. This remedy is often less expensive, but what makes them stand out is the fact that they're not as toxic as artificial remedy. Being aware of the benefits of natural remedy might cause an increasing number of people to use these resources. Regardless of which kind of remedy you choose, the goal is to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. These remedies are meant to aid you to get more rest at night. Most of these remedies will cause drowsiness, so it's best to take them right before bed unless it says otherwise. It's also important to make sure that you talk to a doctor before getting any medication that I'm about to share with you. Isoplicone or Lunesta. Lunesta helps you fall asleep quickly, and studies show people sleep an average of 7 to 8 hours. Don't take Lunesta unless you're able to get a full night's sleep as it could cause grogginess. Because of the risk of impairment the next day, the FDA recommends the starting dose of Lunesta be no more than one milligram. Remelteon. This is a sleep medication that works differently than the others. It works by targeting the sleep-wake cycle, not by depressing the central nervous system. 
It's prescribed for people who have difficulty falling asleep. Rosarem can be prescribed for long-term use, and the drug has shown no evidence of abuse or dependence. Zaloplon or Sonata Of all the new sleeping pills, Sonata stays active in the body for the shortest amount of time. That means you can try to fall asleep on your own, then, if you're still staring at the clock at 2 a.m., you could take it without feeling drowsy in the morning. However, if you tend to wake up during the night, this might not be the best choice for you. Doxapan or Silenor this sleep drug is approved for use in people who have trouble staying asleep. Silenor may help with sleep maintenance by blocking histamine receptors. Do not take this drug unless you're able to get a full 7 or 8 hours of sleep. Dosage is based on your health, age, and response to therapy. Benzodiazepines These older sleeping pills, triazolam, which is halcyon, temazepam, or restoril, alprazolam, or Xanax and others, may be useful when you want an insomnia medication that stays in the system longer. All of these are meant to heal the effects of insomnia by staying in the system longer. They are used to treat sleeping problems such as nightmares and sleepwalking. The main problem with these kinds of medications is that they might force you to feel sleepy during the day. They also cause the body to become dependent on the medication. It's important to get a medical evaluation before you take any sleeping pills. Visit the doctor for a thorough examination. Always ask your doctor about potential side effects before making a decision about which sleeping pills to consider taking. Depending on the type, prescription sleeping pills may include side effects such as headache, severe allergic reaction, prolonged drowsiness, to just name a few. On the other hand, some would prefer to go for natural remedies instead. You don't need to resort to pharmaceuticals with dangerous side effects and fatigue upon waking. Use these natural remedies to reset your sleep cycle and end insomnia. 1. Go camping Having trouble falling asleep? Grab a tent and go camping. Throughout most of human history, humans went to bed shortly after the sun went down and woke up in the morning as it rose. There were candles and later oil lamps, but the light was not very bright, so people went to bed early. According to several studies, campers fell asleep about two hours earlier than usual when denied access to their gadgets and electrical lighting. It's found that artificial light sources can negatively affect circadian rhythms. When the lure of the TV or fiddling on the phone keeps you up late at night, it's time to grab a tent and go camping. Leave your electronic devices at home. Leave your phone in the car. Take some time to meditate, write, do some yoga. Most importantly, sleep on the ground, not in your camper, your car, or in a cabin. Get grounded. Your goal is to de-stress, to take a break from distractions and EFTs, to avoid artificial light, and to use natural light and magnetic fields to reset your circadian rhythms. 2. Music Therapy Listening to music while sleeping does in fact have benefits worth considering for all ages. Music has the unique ability to soothe us, excite us, and elicit a wide range of emotions. The soothing sleep music helps to reestablish a connection to your sense of inner peace and allows you to feel completely secure and enjoy deeper, more restful sleep. Research has shown that people who listen to calming music before going to bed have improved sleep quality during the night than people who don't. Hence, if you're having trouble falling asleep, this could be a solution. 3. Power Down for Better Sleep Sleep is not an on and off switch. Your body needs time to unwind and ready itself for shut-eye. Insomniacs will find it very hard to shut down their brain or quiet, anxious, and worrying thoughts when they are on the go before bedtime. You have to separate your day from nighttime. For instance, if you read before heading to bed, your body knows that reading at night signals sleep time. If you take a warm bath before bed every night, your body recognizes that it's time to slow down and relax. During the first 20 minutes, complete any chores that absolutely must get done before bedtime. For the last 20 minutes, lie in bed quietly and meditate. Focus on the rhythm of your breathing and shoo away any negative thoughts during this time. The goal of this power down 
is to relax your body and prime it for sleep. 4. Sleep in a cool room. People with sleep onset insomnia have consistently warmer core body temperature immediately before falling asleep compared to their healthier peers. Thus, this group of insomniacs needs to wait for two to four hours before their bodies cool down and initiate sleep. Research shows that the optimal temperature for sleep is between 60 to 68 degrees. When you're trying to sleep, your brain loves the cold. Sleeping in a cold bedroom can help release anti-aging hormones. The hormone melatonin is a powerful antioxidant that combats inflammation, protects against cognitive decline in cancers, and strengthens the immune system. It reduces oxidative stress and neurodegeneration, indicating its anti-aging benefits. Sufficient sleep is the key in improving your body's production of melatonin. Creating a conducive sleeping environment, including lowering the room temperature, can help. The hazards of insufficient sleep can put your health and safety at risk. Make changes in your sleeping habits. Start by creating a bedroom conducive to optimal sleep. 5. Break a sweat. Exercise early. It's no secret that exercise improves sleep and overall health, but a published study about sleep shows that the amount of exercise and time of day it's done makes a difference. Researchers found that women who exercised at a moderate intensity for at least 30 minutes each morning, seven days a week, had less trouble sleeping than women who exercise less or later in the day. Morning exercise seems to affect body rhythms that affect sleep quality. One of the reasons for this interplay between exercise and sleep may be body temperature. Your body temperature rises during exercise and takes up to six hours to drop back down to normal. Because cooler body temperatures are linked to better sleep, it's important to give your body time to cool off before bed. Sleep is a crucial part of our health and healing. Take it seriously and seek out the help of a professional medical practitioner if you can't get your sleep under control. Once you get your biological clock reset, your new sleep habits will require discipline, but you'll reap the benefits of a healthy, restful sleep. How to prevent insomnia by making simple lifestyle modifications. It's important to examine your lifestyle and see if any of these adjustments can be made. Simple lifestyle changes can make a world of difference to the quality of your sleep. Although not all insomnia is due to stress, it's undeniable that people who experience ongoing stress are more susceptible to insomnia. And in the case of insomnia related to stress, alleviating the stress should alleviate the insomnia. As mentioned in the course earlier on, stress affects the quality of one's sleep, which can upset the balance between sleep and wakefulness. It's important to handle all parts of your own life in the best manner possible to ensure that you are at a healthy balance. You need to ensure that you are having sufficient sleep on a daily basis. Sleep plays an important role in your physical health. Insufficient sleep for a short time may make you more moody and irritable. Moreover, the long-term effects are serious. Cardiac problems, depression, stroke, heart attack, to name a few. According to sleep experts, there are studies that show that when people get sufficient sleep, they will not only feel better, but it will also increase their odds of living healthier, more productive lives. To overcome insomnia, you should stay away from any kind of nicotine, caffeine, and alcohol. All of these will cause the mind to naturally become restless over time. Having a constant amount of caffeine will force the mind to be more active than it is. Because caffeine is a stimulant, most people will have it early in the morning or to remain alert during the day. Therefore, insomniacs should stay away from these drinks in order to have quality sleep. Skip the coffee break. Reach for a glass of plain water instead of coffee, which may be the reason why you're having a hard time falling and staying asleep at night. Besides that, setting up a sleep schedule for yourself is one of the best self-help techniques for insomnia. It's a major step in overcoming insomnia for good. It is so important to go to bed at the same time at night and wake up at the same time every morning because the body needs consistency. The body likes a routine. It thrives on habit. With a regular bedtime and wake-up time, your body is more likely to stay on track. If you can, 
Avoid alternating schedules, late night parties, night shifts, or other things that may disrupt your sleep schedule. Next, you should try to limit your bedroom activities. If you are constantly watching television or doing work inside of your own bedroom, then your mind will adapt to that being the place where it needs to be the most active. Try to work outside of the bedroom and only use your bedroom to fall asleep. Take the TV out of your bedroom. Televisions are a major cause of insomnia. It consists of blue light, which suppresses melatonin production, and the stimulating nature of some programs make falling asleep difficult. Therefore, finish your Netflix marathon outside your bedroom and then head to sleep. You should condition yourself to know that your bedroom is for sleeping, not for other non-sleeping activities. Not only that, you can always adjust your own daily schedule to include time for yoga or meditation. There is an abundance of evidence that yoga and meditation can improve sleep patterns, often dramatically. It is important to have some relaxation time for yourself. These techniques can be done in your own home for both comfort and privacy. It helps to increase the total flexibility of the body, relax your mind, and de-stress the body. Try to spend at least 30 minutes a day to either meditate or do yoga. Typically, meditation and yoga are best done in the early morning, in a quiet place, and with exposure to sunlight. For meditation, all you have to do is sit down and clear your mind. Try to listen to relaxing music to help calm you down. The moment you start to get used to the idea of meditating throughout the day, the mind will be able to relax faster at night, and therefore you will have an easier time falling asleep. As for yoga, you can either go for yoga classes with a bunch of friends or home practice where you can have more privacy. It will benefit your sleep in many ways. The practice of certain yoga postures will increase the blood circulation to the sleep center in the brain, which has the effect of normalizing the sleep cycle. Remember, sleep is not a lifestyle choice or luxury. It is natural and necessary. So, Root out the underlying causes, change your diet, stop watching TV before bed, set up a sleep schedule, do some yoga, and meditate, and eventually you'll get your quality sleep. Switching off. Fighting insomnia is an uphill battle. When you are trying to cure insomnia, you are actually trying to stop your own mind from being too active at night. There's no reason to be afraid of staying up for countless nights in a row and wondering if this is all going to end. Worrying will only bring about sleepless nights. So, stop battling insomnia in your head. All that you need to do is switch off your monkey brain. At night, you want your own mind to slow down to the point where you can easily fall asleep. Even if someone is not suffering from insomnia, they still might want to know what they can do in order to have better control of themselves and fall asleep whenever they want to. The truth is, having a proper amount of sleep not only helps you to be fully alert the next day, but it also helps the person to rest at night. One of the reasons why people struggle to fall asleep is that once they lay down in bed, they will start to think about their day and life in general. More often than not, they start thinking about useless things that serve no purpose but only hinder them from falling asleep. Switching off definitely needs practice. For many busy adults, the only time they actually have to reflect upon their lives and what they're doing is during bedtime. While it's not a big deal to reflect, don't do it during bedtime. Oftentimes, this is the biggest culprit that stops you from falling asleep. So for those who want to reflect on their lives, consider waking up earlier to have time in the morning to do so, or even schedule some time in the evening to do some reflection. Another reason why people fail to switch off is that they have many activities at night that are overstimulating, causing them to stay awake instead of feeling tired. Some even love to have caffeine at night as a routine. No wonder why people are struggling to fall asleep. So, stay away from coffee, from your mobile phones, laptops, televisions when it's bedtime. Avoid activities that force you to think and require physical exertion at night. And most importantly, avoid blue screen from electronic devices. Another key to falling asleep is to schedule your sleep. Most people don't do that. Instead, they choose to fall asleep only when they're tired. But what they should do instead is to set up their own routine and schedule their bedtime. 
Upon repetition, your mind will be conditioned to switch off when the clock hits the usual hour to fall asleep. Schedule and set a routine and make sure that falling asleep is a habit. How you schedule your evening till bedtime varies, and there are many ways to do it, and there won't be a one-size-fits-all solution, but the general rule of thumb is the same. How to switch off at night. The first thing you should do after you have eaten dinner and cleaned up for the night is turn off any of your electronic devices. Having your phone or computer switched on when you are getting ready for bed will stimulate your brain and it will eventually hinder your sleep. Admit it, your electronic devices are addictive and you won't know when to stop. The light by itself will interfere with your sleep pattern and cause you to stay wide awake. So, when it's one or two hours before bedtime, avoid your gadgets at all costs if you want to have a restful sleep. Reading before sleep is fine, but not through your electronic devices. Reading a physical book as a hobby before bed actually helps you in getting ready to sleep. Also, it's better not to read in your bedroom. You're encouraged to read in another room since you do not want your mind to be active in the room that you need to fall asleep in. Again, to condition your mind to switch off the moment you step into your bedroom. If you are able to completely relax when reading a book, then it's fine to go through and read a book while laying down in bed. Otherwise, try to do it only in another room. The next thing you can do is listen to music and write down any kind of reminders that you will need for the next day. The music by itself will help for you to calm your mind and clear your stresses away. Try to listen to music that is smoother and slower in rhythm. Listening to anything that is loud or exciting will stimulate the mind and it will be harder for you to get to sleep at that point. For example, you will find yourself in a much relaxed state when you listen to classical music than rock music. Another tip is to plan your days ahead before sleep. Writing down reminders for the next day helps to clear out your mind since you will stop thinking about every single detail that you need to remember the next day. Staying awake in bed while constantly reminding yourself that you need to remember something will keep your mind active. Think of your notepad as a dumb it and forget it vault. Simply grabbing a piece of paper and scribbling down a few notes will definitely help you calm down faster and get some rest in return. Another thing that you can do is have a relaxation drink, such as tea, right before bed. However, make sure you stay away from caffeine, alcohol, and drinks with a high amount of sugar. A nice cup of tea can calm your mind and help your body to relax. This is also a great way to create time for yourself, a time to quiet down and relax. You can do this while either reading or listening to music. If you don't find pleasure in drinking tea, then consider having a light snack before bed. Do not consume anything that is too high in calorie and difficult to digest. Regardless, a light snack is good because sometimes the reason why you're having trouble getting to sleep is simply because of hunger. The last thing you can do is bring down your room temperature. The best way to do this is to set your bedroom thermostat to be a bit cooler. Our body is conditioned in a way that when it enters a cooler environment, it will get a signal that it's time to rest. Also, why not take a quick shower right before bed, preferably a cold shower to immediately cool down. Otherwise, you can try to get a bed fan, a cooler mattress, or go for a short walk before bed. All of the things mentioned can be part of your own personal bedtime routine. Go ahead and try them and figure out what works best for you and your schedule. In no time at all, you won't have any trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. After all, restful sleep is the foundation for your mental and physical well-being. Whether it's artificial or natural remedy, lifestyle changes, or setting up a routine, all these contribute in preventing insomnia. So, what to do next? It's time to take action today. Find out which of these methods works best for you and implement them into your daily routine. Write them down and imagine what your normal day looks like when you add these strategies to your routine. Any five or 10 minutes that you have open, think about what you could do to help relax your mind to help you get to sleep later on during the night. Only by trying them out, Can you find the best way for you to fall asleep 
and stay fast asleep. Everyone is born unique, so don't be afraid to experiment with your body and soon you'll never suffer from insomnia again.